Then Speaker Pelosi went on and launched into some odd uh, self-curated history of infrastructure in our country. She talked about Thomas Jefferson, then she got to Teddy Roosevelt. And so when she was finished, I said, respectfully, Madam Speaker, would you like to address some of the specifics the president talked about? And she said, I don't, I talk to the president, I don't talk to staff. Because let's face it, she's the sixth most rich member of Congress. She treats everybody like they're her staff. She treats me like I'm either her maid or her driver or her pilot or her makeup artist, and I'm not. Uh, and I said to her, how very pro-woman of you, per usual, because she's not very pro-woman. She's pro-some woman. A few women. In the gravity of the meeting, Kellyanne Conway made a remark to at the end of the meeting. She's apparently expanded on her remark. I'm not going to talk about her. I responded as the Speaker of the House to the President of the United States. Other conversations people want to have among themselves is up to them. This is Kellyanne Conway complaining that Nancy Pelosi didn't want to speak to her during a conversation with the President. Keep in mind, Nancy Pelosi is second in the line of succession to the presidency. She has no obligation to entertain every comment from every person in the room. Whether it's an intern or an advisor to the president like Kellyanne Conway, just because you have something to say doesn't mean that the Speaker of the House has to engage you. And then to complain about it says more about Kellyanne Conway than Nancy Pelosi. Conway goes so far as to say that she's not pro-woman, as if Speaker Pelosi is doing some disservice to women by not engaging every female in the room. Whereas in reality, casually throwing out the woman card for your own self-serving interests is inherently the least pro-woman thing that someone can do. Being pro-woman, just like being pro-anything, isn't about blindly supporting everyone who identifies with that group. Because it would be one thing if Pelosi wasn't supporting a woman who deserves support, but that's not what's happened here. Because look, it's not because she's a woman that Nancy Pelosi doesn't want to speak to Kellyanne Conway. I wonder if Kellyanne Conway would say the same thing if Hillary Clinton was president, because I can't quite seem to remember her tempering Trump's constant critiques of Hillary on behalf of all women everywhere. That said, you know what's probably not too pro-woman? Working for a serial sexual abuser who bragged about assaulting women and has been credibly accused by 23 others of sexual misconduct. But maybe there's a pro-woman loophole I don't know about. But this is Kellyanne's MO, to distract. The issue here is that the President of the United States threw a temper tantrum because Congress is finally performing its oversight responsibilities as outlined in our Constitution. The President again stormed out, I think, what, first pound the table, walk out the door. What? Next time, have the TV cameras in there while I have my say. That didn't work for him either. And now this time, another ten temper tantrum. Uh, uh, again, I pray for the President of the United States. I wish that his family or his administration or his staff would have an intervention for the good of the country. No matter how much Kellyanne wants to make it about some extraneous feud that no one cares about, this is only about Trump's fit because he didn't get his way. Him claiming that until all investigations go away, he'll hold infrastructure hostage isn't hurting congressional Democrats. It's hurting the American people who expect our tax dollars to be put to good use. And Kellyanne knows that, so she'll do what she does best by running cover for her boss. And by the way, probably not the best look for Trump to start obstructing by issuing ultimatums to House Democrats when the entire crux of the Mueller probe is whether Trump obstructed. It's almost like he's done this before. So the next time someone tries to co-opt the feminist movement to advance their own personal agenda, maybe they should at least identify as one first. Because when it comes to Kellyanne Conway... It's difficult for me to call myself a feminist.